class. Good morning. Good morning. Is everybody excited for their long weekend? Yes. yes. Are you guys going to miss me? You won't see me until Monday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to miss you guys. Let's begin class. We have a lot to get through today. And if we make it through all of our information, I have a little game to play at the end of class. Okay, so we're continuing. Lesson two, what are rocks and soil? First, let's go over your homework. About step one, an animal eats a plant while the plant grows. Two, the plant and animal die. Three, they become soil. And four, new plants can grow and new animals can eat them. First, I have a video from Susu and Milk. Here is Susu's video. Hello, my name is Susu. Today I will talk about soil. Here's my soil. And plants and rocks and a dead snail. Um, soil is from bits of rocks and, and from dead plants and animals. Very good. Um, what, what is a soil? soil what is soil? Soil is a natural resource. We need soil to make toys, to make like bones. We need soil to grow plants for oxygen. Mm, very good. And um, we need soil for shelter. Mm, excellent. Uh, we right. need soil to walk on. Mm -hmm. uh, Great vocabulary. You talk loudly. You look at the camera. I love your soil with your plants in it. Very good job, Susu. Great presentation. Here's Milk's video. Okay. Hello, guys. My name is Milk. Today, we're going to go back and to make slime. Here is a picture. Very good. You see? Yeah, I showed you. Mm -hmm. One is a plant that grows. Some very long. So one bug eats the plant. And then the bug and the plant die. And then one piece and plant and bug became soil. Excellent. And one man said, no plants. No plants. So far, and they grow into plant, and then the animal eats the plant, like a cow, a snail, and a people. Yes, said the people. You see, that is important. Excellent work. That was great, Mel. Great description. Yes. And then 
they grow into into summer. Very good. So then you go through the seasons and how they grow. Very nice work, Milk. Okay, let's take a look at the homeworks that I got. Here is Sino's homework. Very nice job, Sino. I see the plant. I see a worm. The plant and the worm die. More worms and new plants. Excellent job. Here's Blue Moons. I like how you split your page, Blue Moon. Very pretty. Blue Moon, could you tell us what you wrote and explain your pictures to us? Yes. A sheep eats grass. The sheep and grass die. <laughs> I like your coloring with the yellow grass. Very the sheep, cute. The grass breaks down and becomes soil. Mm. The grass grow for a buffalo to eat. Excellent job. And I see you have the healthy green grass, the dead grass and sheep that makes soil and then more plants grow and animals come back. This is really, really good, Blue Moon. Excellent job. Very well done. Here's Zook. Excellent work, Zook. This is beautiful. Zook, could you tell us what you drew? Yes. I drew a caterpillar in grass. Very good. And then in your second picture? It's the green the grass that in the caterpillar make a cocoon. Okay, very good. And when a, a butterfly turn into a... No, when a cocoon turn into the butterfly and when the cocoon falls down, the cocoon dies. Mm -hmm. and, okay. and the butterfly make the... It so looks like and the new caterpillar eats the grass again. Very good. So the grass dies and the cocoon that the butterfly comes out of also falls to the ground. So the dead grass and the cocoon turn into soil and grow new grass. And then the butterfly lays its eggs on the grass and there's a new caterpillar. Very good job. I love this idea of the caterpillar to the butterfly and back to the caterpillar again. This was a very unique and special idea, Zook. Good job. Okay, next one. I have milks, which we've seen in the video. Here's Sam's picture. Very nice, Sam. I like your caterpillar and your snail. And I see some roots on your plant. Very nice. Here's Rosie's picture. Rosie, can you explain your four pictures to us? A rabbit in a carrot. The rabbit and the carrot die. They break down to the, the soil. And the new carrot, new, the new rabbit grow. Excellent. Very good. So a new carrot can grow in that soil and more rabbits can come eat it. Very nice job, Rosie. And lastly, I know Funny did her homework, but her mom just couldn't send it in this morning. Funny, could you show us your homework? Go ahead and tell us about what you drew. Do a plant and a caterpillar. And the dead plant and a dead caterpillar. And the wolves eat the dead plants and animals. And the wolf becomes soil. Very good. I like how you use the worm. Can we see it? Can you hold it up a little higher? Very nice. Very cool. Thank you for sharing, Funny. I like that you included the worms eating the dead plants and animals. Did anyone else do their homework but not send it in? I normally have more homework than this. Squirt, let's look at yours. You have one? Oh, very good. I see it. Is that a duck? Bird. Bird, a bird. Very nice. The bird in the tree die, becomes soil. What animal comes to eat the new plant? Giraffe. Excellent job. Very nice 
And I like your coloring. All right, let's take a look at Moon. Go ahead and hold it up so we can see it. Yeah. And what did you draw? What plant and animal? Uh, a plant and an animal. The plant and the animal die. Very good. Then the plant grow into a new plant so the animal can eat. Excellent work, Moon. Very good job. Thank you for sharing. Did anyone else do their homework but not send it in? Sophia and George. George, did you also do your homework? Yes. All right. My homework. Hold it up, Sophia, so we can see it. George, get your homework too, so we can take a quick look. Did anyone else do their homework? Becca, I will show my homework. All right, go ahead and show it to us. Banana, did you do your homework? Yes. Okay, let's start with George. He has his up. Banana, get your homework. Very nice, George. What animal did you draw? A cow. A cow, and I like that you drew it as a cycle so it can happen again and again in a circle. Very nice, George. What helps the plant and animal break down and become soil? Do you remember what helps the plants and animals break down and become soil? Whoa! Worms, very good. Okay, and let's take a quick look at bananas. Let's see a banana. Do you have it with you? Yes. Wow, very nice. And I see you have, what, what animal did you draw, a snake? The plant and animal die, very nice, and become soil. Very good job, banana. And last one is Sophia. Let's see it, Sophia. I draw a snail. A snail, very cool. And what happens when the snail and the plant die? It grows it mean in soil. Excellent job, very good. And another plant grow and another animal eat. Excellent work, Sophia. All right, guys, let's go into class now. Great job, everybody, on your homework. Very, very good. Everyone, make sure you send it in because it takes time to uh, find everyone else who did their homework that didn't send it in, okay? So make sure you send it in if you can. Let's remember, what is soil made out of? Nam, hi Nam, what is soil made out of? Make out of, of plants. Plants, what else? You can well, look in the reading if you need to. You can find it in the reading if you forget. From a, a ground. Can you look at what's just underlined? Rock. Good, small pieces of rock. And living then what are, say it again? Living things. And living things, good, like plants and animals. Very nice. So it's made of small pieces of rock, plants and animals, and it forms the top layer on Earth's surface. All right, let's remember what wind and water and our little worm friends do. They break down the plants, animals, and rocks, right? So what are once living things? Let's remember. Tom, what are once living things? Living thing is, is something that has life. Has life, good, or had life in the past. Very nice. So plants and animals and banana, what breaks down living things into soil? Worm. Good, worms and other decomposers, very nice. So plants and animals that were once living get broken down by worms. How do wind and water help make soil, Ben 10? Kind of. So you do need wind and water to help plants grow, but
But how do the wind and water help make soil? How do they help make the soil? Um, I don't know. That's, can, you can look up here at the top, wind and water. What does it say? Wind and water break the rock and build a rock for the wind of soil. Good. So how do wind and water help make soil, Ben? How do they help make the soil, Ben? Ben 10? What? I can hear you. How do the wind and the water help make soil? Wind and water break the rock. Good, they break down the rock and the rock becomes soil. Do you think all soil is the same? Why? Pasta? Pasta, do you I think? I hear you. Do you think all soil is the same? Why? You're also really quiet. Can you hear me better now? Do you think all soil is the same? All soil is the same everywhere? No, why? Why do you think some soil is different from other soil? Yeah, maybe they're made from different things, right? They're made from different rocks, from different plants, from different animals. They get different amounts of water. Okay, Ray, could you read this for me? Scoop on soil. Soil may be different. Soil may have different colors and textures. Texture is what an object feels like. Colors and textures are two properties of soil. Very good job, Ray. Thank you. So explain how soils can be different. How can they be different? Sino, how can soils be different? A soil is different from plain because they have different color. All right, different colors. Excellent. How else can soil be different? Tiger? So Sino said soil can have different colors. How else can soil be different? All right, other colors, good. And can you also say they can have Different textures. Very good. Everybody say texture. 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 Very good. Texture. So soils may have different colors, different textures. So what are some properties of soil? Remember properties is what something is like. I'll give you one. One property of soil is, one property of soil is color. What's another property of soil? Dragon? Yeah. What's another property of soil? So property is what something is like. So soil can have different colors. What's another property? What's another way we can describe soil? Different colors, different... We can plant trees. So maybe um, their soil is good for different things. So if so they have... Different things. Good. If they have more nutrients, then it's good for planting. If they don't have a lot of nutrients, we wouldn't want to plant a farm there. We'd want to find somewhere else. What's another property of soil? Sam, Sam, what's another property of soil? Remember, properties are what something is like. So we can talk about different colors. It is, it is red. All right, so. Um, and then if the, if the, if the soil wet, it becomes muddy puddles. Mm -hmm. Very good. So how wet or dry it is? But I have this and soil. Soil, mm, soil can help we, he can help we plant. Mm -hmm. A plant and plants give we food and 
plants will give we a good oxygen to breathe and plants plant breathe with not good oxygen but they cannot never ever die very good excellent that's why soil is so important right all right we can also talk about different sizes of soil are they little pieces are they big pieces and we can talk about different textures how does it feel so what is texture taylor what is texture it's what an object feel like very good can you think of a word to describe texture what something feels like a rough feel rough. All right, rough, very good. Rough is a texture. Excellent job. Milk, can you think of another word to describe the texture of something? To describe what something feels like? Are you there, Milk? All right, I'll come back to Milk. Um, Tom, can you think of a, a word to describe texture? Rough. We have um, rough. Can you think of another one? Smooth. Smooth, very good. Excellent job, Tom. Susu, can you think of another word to describe the texture of something, how it feels? What about how your clothes feel? Wet. Wet, okay, wet can be a texture, I think so. Mud has a different texture than dry soil. Can we think of any other ones? How about, how about Ben? Ben 10, can you think of another texture? So how something feels? I don't know if something can feel dirty. What about slippery? Slippery is a texture or Soft. What's the opposite of soft, Ben 10? What's the opposite of soft? We already have rough. Yeah, but rough, the opposite of rough is smooth. Soft is like your pillow. Your pillow it's is hard. Soft. It's hard. Hard, very good. What about we use clay? Clay is soft, right? Yes, clay yeah. is safe for soil. Mmm, clay, clay, there is clay in soil. So maybe clay would make soil more soft. Rocks might make soil more rough. So these are some really good ones. Here are some that I thought of. Milk, are you there now, Milk? Say hello. Yes. Hi, Milk. Can you read these six textures for me at the bottom? Starting with soft. Hard. Soft. Bum. Bumby. Soft. Bumby. Rough. Smooth. Fuzzy. Good. Can you say bumpy? Bumpy? Bumpy. Very good. Excellent job, Mel. So these are some that I thought of. They can be soft, like a pillow. Hard. Is it bumpy? Rough? Smooth, fuzzy. All right. Read the caption of this picture. Hi, Nam. Can you read the caption, please? Down at the Blum. bottom. Can you read the caption? Caption. So remember, caption are the words at the bottom or on a picture that tell us about the picture. So in this case, the caption is on the picture and it tells us about the picture. So Nam, what do you think the caption is? Caption is a... Uh... So the caption, remember caption, everybody say caption. Caption. Good. Caption is on a picture or right underneath a picture and it tells us about the picture. So when we were looking at properties of rocks, remember the caption under the picture? When we were looking at different colors, it said color. 
Rocks can be different colors. That's a caption for the picture of different colored rocks. So Nam, which words on this page would be the caption that tell us about this picture? Would this big one here be the caption or would it be the small one here? The small one. Good, the small one. The small one tells us about the picture. It's the picture's caption. Can you read it for me, hi, mom? A big, some soil of better, better that other for grow plant. Good, for growing plants. Thank you, Nam. So some soils are better than others for growing plants. Zook, what do you think makes some soil better for growing plants? Why is some soil better for growing plants? What do you think, Zook? Did you say it again? What do you think makes some soil better for growing plants? I don't know. So think about it. Is it easy to grow plants on the sand? Uh, no. No, right? Is it easy to grow plants when the soil is really dry? Yes. When it's really dry, don't plants need water? No. Right? Plants need water, right? Plants need water, so the soil needs to have water, and it needs to have a lot of dead plants and animals so they have nutrients. Zook, do you think it's easy to grow plants when the soil has a lot of rocks in it, when it's mostly rocks? No. No, we want mostly dead plants and animals, right? Okay, let's do some quick matching. Is everyone ready to draw? Yes. Okay, draw a nice line. No scribbles, just a nice line like this. From the picture to the texture that describes it. What texture is the thing in the picture? Go ahead and draw a line. Go ahead and draw. Is the texture fuzzy, smooth, or bumpy? All right, we have some very mixed ideas here, but that's okay. So fuzzy, fuzzy is like your fuzzy pants. George, please stop drawing. Fuzzy is like your fuzzy pants, your fuzzy pillow, your fuzzy furry blanket. Like a sheep's wool. A sheep is fuzzy, okay? Or a blanket is fuzzy. What is bumpy? What is bumpy? A uh, banana, what is bumpy? I don't know. So what is rough? Banana, what is rough? Rough is hard. It's hard and is it smooth? No. No, rough is bumpy. Bumpy, right? Bumpy is like a lot of little hills. When something is bumpy, it is also rough. Everyone say bumpy. 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 Very good. Bumpy. Bumpy. Very good. So whenever you get older, maybe you have lots of pimples and bumps on your face, right? And you say, wow, I'm so bumpy. I'm really bumpy. So let's try again. Now that you know what bumpy and fuzzy are, what do you think the toy the lizard and the plastic ball are. Go ahead and draw. Go ahead and draw. What are they? Nice, I see Blue Moon, Taylor, very good. Excellent work, everybody. Much better. Yay, great job, everybody, you're right. Fuzzy, bumpy, and smooth. Let's look at these two different kinds of soil. Which one is dry and which one is moist? Moist means a little wet. Go ahead and draw. 
Which one is dry? Which one is a little moist? Nice, banana, tiger, squirt, very good. Please, no scribbling. All right, nice work, everybody. You're right, this one is dry. This soil is moist. All right, which ones are soft? And which one is hard? Go ahead and draw. Which one is soft? And which one is hard? <laughs> Puppy, Puppy said, Squirt said, she's so bumpy. <laughs> I'm bumpy too, Squirt. Okay, excellent job. The top one is hard, and this one is soft. That's why the dog's footprint could go in it. Uh, light brown and dark brown. Go ahead and draw. Light brown and dark brown. All right, very nice job, everybody. You're right. I knew we knew our colors. Okay, excellent work, guys. So let's talk about some properties of soil. Banana, please stop drawing. What is soil like? Here is a picture and its caption. Okay, let's have Blue Moon. Can you please read this caption? Hello, the color uh, of soil comes from the rocks and also things fat in it. Very good. So, excellent reading, Blue Moon. What are some colors that soil can be? Honey, what are some colors that soil can be? Black. Black, what else? What other colors can soil be? Pink. Mm -hmm. It could be pink, very good. Uh, dragon, what are some other colors that soil can be? What colors can they be? Orange! Orange, good. What else? What's this one up here? Brown, bright, white. Very good. Gray, white. Very good job, dragon. What makes a certain kind of soil its color? What makes them different colors? Uh, moon. Moon, what makes the soil different colors? Moon, are you there? Yes. What makes certain kinds of soil its color? Where does the color come from? I'm not sure. Can you read the caption again? Well, the color of soil comes from the rock and other things found in it. Mm -hmm. So what makes a certain kind of soil its color? What gives it its color, Moon? Rock and other things. Good, rocks and other things. Let's make sure we got this done really well. Um, Rosie, what makes a certain soil its color? What gives soil its color, Rosie? Animal and plant. Animals, plant, and rocks, very good. The rocks and other things found in it. Okay, let's read the caption for this picture. Sophia, can you read the caption for this picture, please? Sorry, the size of the shape of the, of the rock makes much different textures. And living thing like different texture too. Very good. So it'll be more rough and bumpy if the soil is bigger. Right? The size and the shape of the soil change the texture. Is it rough? Is it soft? Is it smooth? Is it hard and dry? And the animals and plants in the soil change the texture too. So what makes things have different textures? Sino, what makes things have different textures? Because I uh, people use water and air to break down rock. So, so people don't use the water and the air, right? The nature, it happens in nature. Okay, because I don't know. That's okay. So, what? why do these soils have different textures, Sino? 
Why does this middle picture, Sino, not feel like this picture? Why is this picture, Sino, not feel like this picture? Because they, they have small size. Very good. So right here, the size and shape of the rock bits make different textures, and so do the once living things. Look, this soil on the left here has little leaves, it has twigs. So let's ask someone else to squirt. What makes things have different textures? Animals, rock, and plants. Very good. Different sizes of rocks and plants, different kinds of rocks and plants. Um, Pasta, can you read this for me? The yellow box, nice and loud. Size, shape, and the once living things make different textures in the soil. Very good. Size, shape, and the once living things make different textures. Okay, sadly, we don't have time to play our two games. That's okay. So, properties of rocks and soil. Properties of rocks could be color, size, and what's the third one, everybody? Color, size, and? Shape. Good, shape. Color, size, and shape. Soil can have different textures and different colors. So here is your homework. We have a long weekend, so it's a little more. So pay close attention, everyone. Ready? Step one, find two different types of soil near you. They could be different colors, different textures, or other properties. So find two different kinds of soil. Step two is to fill in this chart. So for your first sample of soil, what is the color? What is the texture? What's the size and shape of the bits of soil, the pieces of soil? Are there any living or once living things in it? Same for your second sample of soil. What's the color, texture, shape, and size of this sample? Okay, so step one, find two different types of soil. Step two, fill in this chart. Step three, answer these questions. How are the soils the same? How are they different? And what other questions could you ask about soil? And then send in a picture of your chart and answered questions. So you don't have to make a video, but send in a picture of your chart and answered questions. Also, since you have a four day weekend, if you finish your homework, here's something you can do for fun. If you get bored over the long weekend, you can do this word maze. All right, this is not homework. You do not have to do this. But if you're bored at home, feel free to do this just for fun as another thing to do, okay? All right, I'll miss you guys. Have a great long weekend, okay? And I hope you guys have fun. I look forward to seeing all of your soil samples on Monday. Also, feel free to also send a picture of your two samples of soil. So we can see your soil samples, your chart, and the questions that you answered. All right, bye everybody. Have a nice long weekend. I'll miss you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.